let's talk about research. There are incredible articles in the Journal of Endodontics, International Endodontic Journals, uh, O, and many other peer-reviewed journals about comparing or analyzing endodontic instruments. This particular article came in 2009, and they used this specific jig to compare these instruments. And since 2009, many, many articles has based their research study on this jig. And this is the jig that we are going to talk about because this is the jig that we use to test Way one goal. First, this incredible endodontist is a combined efforts from three universities, uh, the main in Spain, in Florida, and in New York. And what they have done is to test the cyclic fatigue of a single file system, Way one goal. This is the methodology. They use 20 instruments at a time. They use the e-motor uh, from Densply. Then they use this standardized jig that has 45, 60, and 90 degree curvature. The test was done on the 45 degree uh, uh, angulation of way one gold, penetrating at 23.5 millimeters because of the rubber stop, which is a little larger than half a millimeter. And then the statistical analysis was done applying the Christie's test. These are the photos of the instrument machine and the stainless steel jig, as you can see here. And I'm showing you right now the last seconds of the cyclic fatigue test. And why the last seconds of the cyclic fatigue test because that's how long it took this instrument to fail on the cyclic fatigue. These are the uh, numbers of the cyclic fatigue uh, test. This is the maximum load in newtons that they apply until the instrument fail. And when they compare way one goal to way one, a two-way ANCOVA was conducted to determine a statistical significant difference between way one and way one goal on the degrees of rotation until fracture. There is a significant effect of file type on degrees of rotation until fracture after controlling for a file's flexibility and mass. Way one gold demonstrated superiority cyclic fatigue in a 17.5% over way one. Also, they did the study on flexibility of way one gold. They applied the same methodology because we need that jig to test the strength that you need to take the file all the way down. And also they apply a descriptive test for the statistical analysis. Here are the results, the rotation in degrees and also the amount of force in torques if per uh, gram per centimeter. And it was important to also analyze the three millimeters. Why? Because all these incredible researchers have noticed when they compare way one goal with many rot uh, rotary systems or reciprocating systems, that the discrepancy, the tremendous discrepancy that there was in some of them. So they measure all the D3s from D1, D2, and D3 on all the other files. And it's obvious, as you can see in this box, the tremendous difference between the three files. The researchers has expressed to me that in this case, the three files were completely different in D3. So the results of Way one Gold compared with Way one a two-way ANCOVA was conducted to determine a statistical significant difference between Way one and Way one Gold on force of torsion. There is a significant effect of file type by force of torsion after controlling for a file rotation and torque. Way one goal demonstrated a superiority resistance to fracture in 53% more than way one. Now, another test, which is the bending test. They took 10 files uh, from way one gold primary, a machine that has been built by the uh, my, by my leffer in the manufacturing plant that following ISO norm three. 630, the file was clamped again in the first three millimeters and bent up to 90 degrees. Then they calculate the force of flexion and the residual angle that it returns to. And for way one goal, they apply a descriptive test. Here we can see how this, this, this test is done. The file is clamped in the very first three millimeters, then it's pushed to 90 degrees, and then they let the file come back to a residual bending uh, position. 
Here are the results of the force of flexion and also the residual angle that ends up with wave one gold. So the results of the bending test, a two-way ANCOVA was conducted to determine a statistically significant difference between wave one and wave one gold on force of flexion. There is a significant effect of file type by force of flexion after controlling for a file flexibility and mass. Way one goal demonst demonstrated a superior force of flexion of 87.5% and a tremendous 147% in the residual angle. The performance of this instrument through an incredible technology, which is a micro CT. You have seen how well this instrument will prepare the canals without procedural errors. I'm convinced that you are going to incorporate this instrument in your armamentarium. I'm pretty sure that you are going to use this instrument very, very soon.